The Rochester Museum and Science Center has mounted a comprehensive exhibition of the work of Leonardo da Vinci. Da Vinci, the genius, gives us a peek into the mind of an inherently curious man, a man who worked to further his understanding of the world around him and who built the foundations of much of what we know today, from civil and military engineering to anatomy and, yes, art. The world-famous Mona Lisa painting has a special place in this exhibit, and we had the opportunity to sit down with Mona Lisa expert Pascal Kant to learn some of the secrets of the painting. Leonardo was really interesting in everything, everything. He studied opticals, he studied anatomicals, he studied engineering, mechanicals, to do the water, the weather, is to do astronomy, is to do so the list is very impressive. Leonardo was very famous first for civil engineering and war engineering also. But his passion was for arts and mainly painting. My name is Pascal Cott and I am an engineer in optics and physics and um, I invent a new way to, to digitize and capture paintings. I try to extract information, giving mathematical models and everything, to extract information inside, to understand layer by layer how Leonardo paints Mona Lisa. Imagine you are, you are listening to an orchestra and because you know the sound of the clarinet, you are able to listen to the fifth symphony, you listen only to the clarinet because your brain knows the clarinet so you are able to eliminate. So this is my job. When I received the call of the Louvre one day in September 2004 and the director of the Louvre called me and told me, uh, Pascal, can you come and using your technology, uh, can you digitize uh, Mona Lisa? I feel that I have a mission. A mission not only to, to, to make the work, but also to explain uh, to young people and to explain uh, why uh, Leonardo is so famous. We learn uh, the technique, we learn uh, how Leonardo changed the technique also because he starts with the traditional oil painting but at the end of the 1513 and 1516 he, he used a new technique called the glaze technique. And the glaze technique is a crazy technique. Because you have to, if you, if you want to make the shadows, to put the shadows, you have to, uh, to take a few, very few quantity of pigment in a large quantity of binder. And so you, you quite see nothing. And you, you take your brush and you apply on the painting and you see nothing because it's so dilute that you cannot see. You have to wait about one week and you apply a second layer. You have to wait about one week and you apply a third layer. And after 13 layers, <laughs> appear the shadows. So it's crazy. It's a crazy technique. So on, on this exhibition, you, will, you have a special room for Mona Lisa. So to really understand Mona Lisa, to see some secret, you have a, a very big enlargement of the, of the painting in a, using a infrared reflectography. And inside this, this picture, why this is a big picture, you, you have a lot of the secret you can see. And you have also a, a perfect replica of the plank of poplar because Mona Lisa is not a canvas. Mona Lisa is painted on wood, and it's very important to know that because Leonardo never painted on canvas. Leonardo always painted on walnuts, on poplar, on different trees, but always on wood. 
And so you have a, a perfect replica and you can see on the back of the plank of poplar, you can see a lot of stamps and inscriptions that give you some idea of the story of the painting. If we talk about Mona Lisa, we don't know exactly if this is this painting. We know for sure that he make a painting of Mona Lisa. Okay, that's okay. Uh, we have a lot of proof, we have a testimony, so we know that he make. Mona Lisa was a wife of Francesco del Giocondo, a rich merchant of silks and fabrics. Uh, that's all. We know only that. But if he changed the theater, in, 15, uh, in 1513 for Giuliano de Medicis, uh, he probably put a new face on it, he chant portrait, and, uh, but we don't know who it is. If you leave this exhibition and you realize that this man make all of this only by working, not by a... This is a genius, of course, but this is first because he works. Okay. This is the message that uh, Leonardo gives us today. I just want to say to young people, be curious. Because Leonardo was very curious. This exhibit will be open until May 17th. Check it out. You can get more information at rmsc.org.